the popular Yamaha O1V digital mixing console is commonly used with the Sound Devices PIX260i production audio and video recorder. With the Dante card installed, the O1V can send up to 16 channels of audio over a Dante network. With the PIX260i on the network, audio channels can be recorded to its drives as either QuickTime video files or WAV files. Files can be either monophonic or polyphonic. This setup gives users the ability to record and route audio quickly and efficiently over the Dante network, while providing all the benefits of a PIX260i including drag and drop file transfer, multi-drive recording, and Ethernet device control. In this video tutorial, we will explore the benefits of a Dante network and learn how to properly interconnect the Yamaha O1V and the PIX260i. Dante interconnectivity offers many advantages. Using only a single Ethernet connection, users can route audio to and from any Dante-enabled device. This single connection replaces all other analog and digital interconnections. Metadata associated with each audio channel is transferred along with the audio. Metadata includes useful information such as track names and channel source. The self-configuring nature of the Dante network provides users with simple setup. When two or more Dante-enabled devices are connected, they immediately recognize each other, self-configure, and begin communicating. Additionally, Dante offers network redundancy. In the event one connection is lost, it will automatically and seamlessly switch over to the other, ensuring that no audio will be lost. So here we have our Yamaha O1V and PIX260i. In this tutorial, we're going to route the left and right mix tracks to channels 1 and 2 on the Dante network. And then we're going to route a pre-fade direct out ISO track from input 1 on the O1V to channel 3 on the Dante network. And then we're going to record the left and right and ISO track on their own recordable tracks on the PIX260i. So starting from defaults on both machines, the first thing we want to do is set the word clock source on the Yamaha O1V to be taken from one of the Dante channels. And we do that by selecting DIO slash setup. And this will take us to our word clock select menu. And we're going to select any of the slot options we have here on this menu. We can select any of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 15 through 16. I'm just going to use 1 and 2. So once we hit enter, it's going to be taking its word clock signal from the Dante network. This is very important. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to route the left and right mix tracks to channels 1 and 2 of the Dante network. So we hit our patch key until we see our output patch. So this slot output patch menu, we can see 1 through 16, these are our channels going to the Dante network. And this is where we tell the Yamaha O1V to assign different channels to go to that network. So 1, we're going to highlight and select enter. And then we're going to scroll up and hit stereo left and select yes. Now the left mix track is on channel 1 of the Dante network. Going over to 2, doing the same thing, selecting stereo right and yes. So now channels 1 and 2 are the left and right mix on the Dante network. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to route a ISO track to channel 3 and we're going to make sure it's a pre-fade ISO track. We do this by going to the direct output destination menu and here we see all of our direct outputs. Um, we're going to assign direct output 1 to go to slot 3 and then yes. So now the direct output of channel 1 on the O1V is now being sent to channel 3 on the Dante network. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that input 1's direct output is a pre-fade output. So we do this in the same menu and selecting pre-fader. 
Now, any changes we make to the fader are not going to affect the signal that's being sent to the Dante network for that input. So there's one other step we really need to do, and that's to activate that direct output channel. So we select channel one, and then we can hit view to see the options. And we go to the fader options menu. And under this bus routing, we gotta make sure D is highlighted. And you can see under D is slot 03, as we said it before. You can actually set the slot options from this menu too. So once we highlight D, it's now sending that pre-fade ISO of channel one to channel three on the Dante network. So that is it for setup on the O1V. So now we're gonna go up to the PIX260i. All we need to do here is hit the menu button and we can see all of our channels and scroll over to source. And at the bottom here, we can see Dante and we can see Yamaha O1V. If there were multiple Dante sources on this network, we would see all of them. And then we can select channel one. And you can see we're instantly getting signal here. So that's our left channel. So next we can scroll down and select for channel two, Yamaha O1V. Now there's our right mix. And we can see this here, I can pan left and only the left channel's there, I can pan right, and we only have the right channel. So next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go down to the track three and select Dante O1V, channel three. So this is our pre-fade ISO track. I can turn down the fader here, and we're still getting signal coming from the um, channel three, even all faders. It, it's only taking its signal from before the fader. So that's how you set up the PIX260i and Yamaha O1V to work together on the Dante network. For more information on the Sound Devices PIX260i production audio and video recorder, visit the Sound Devices webpage.